Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to use the har mean function. Now the har mean function, what it does is it provides the calculation for the harmonic mean. So basically a harmonic mean, if I go ahead and show a definition of what the harmonic mean and also the formula for it, basically it's the reciprocal of the arithmetic mean, or basically your average, of the reciprocals of a set of a set of specified numbers. Now this is the calculation below for it. Basically, uh, let's say we have two numbers, or three numbers, and three would be the n, and then the first number, if all the numbers are 10, it would be 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10, and those would be in the denominator, and three would be in the numerator, numerator because there's three values. Now why would we use a harmonic mean instead of uh, a arithmetic mean, or basically a, re a regular average? Well, we can use this particular scenario or this example to kind of highlight that. Now, the harmonic mean in Excel is actually a pretty fairly easy function to use. Uh, it, doesn't take, it, it just takes a list of values. But in order to use it, you kind of have to understand what you're using it for. And in this scenario, let's say we, we've got uh, a distance. We're going to the airport. We're going from A to B, the airport. Let's say I'm in a rush to go to the airport. So uh, from, my, from the house to the airport, we're going 60 kilometers uh, per hour. Now, when we come back from B to A, uh, we're more, a little more, more leisurely. Uh, we picked up our, our friends, our family members, and we, we picked them up. Now, we, don't, we, don't wanna, we didn't want to be late when we went there, but when we came back, it's a little bit more of a leisurely trip back from B to A, and we're going 30 kilometers per hour. So when we try to, try to calculate our average speed for the round trip from A to B and then B to A, what would we think it is? Um, I think uh, on a snap judgment, we would kind of think, okay, I'm going to go ahead and add 60 and 30, and that be becomes 90, so right? Equals uh, 60, we go equals uh, 60 plus 30, and then I'm gonna divide by, by two, right? And we think, oh, okay, my average speed should be 45 kilometers per hour. And actually, that would not be the correct answer, uh, because that's not an accurate way to gauge the average speed for the round trip. It's not really 45. It's actually 40 kilometers per hour. And the reason is, is because we spent uh, more time from B to A than A to B. We only spent, uh, we spent an hour from A to B, but we spent two hours from B to A, because we we're going 30 kilometers per hour. So let me go into my next worksheet and kind of show you the harmonic mean function and what the inputs and outputs are and show you why that actually is the more uh, accurate average speed if you're talking about um, this particular scenario. So let's use the harmonic mean function. So I'm going to go ahead and type equals H-I-R-M. Go ahead and tab it to complete that. And the numbers I have are 60 and then 30. All right, and close parentheses, press enter, and the harmonic mean is 40. So basically the average speed for the round trip is 40 kilometers per hour. So let's kind of work back and try to figure out why that's the case. All right? So if we verify that our round trip distance between A and B is 120 kilometers, going from A to B is 60 kilometers, B back to A is 120, plus the 60 is 120. So the trip time from A to B is one hour because it takes 60 kilometers per hour, uh, but it takes twice uh, the amount of time, two hours, to go from B to A because we're only going 30 kilometers per hour. So that's two hours. So the total, total trip time is three hours. So the average speed should be uh, the 120 for both ways divided by three, which gives us 40 kilometers per hour, which is our harmonic mean. So you can see here the harmonic mean is actually a pretty basic function uh, when you think about it, but understanding when to use it is probably kind of important. So one of the rules of thumb when you're trying to determine whether or not to use a, the harmonic mean versus maybe an arithmetic mean is when you're dealing with ratios and calculating the mean, you probably should use the harmonic mean. Um, let's try another example. So let's say in our second example, we've got a brand new installation of a pool and we begin to fill it. The pool takes uh, 10,000 gallons of water. Now we have one hose that we can fill the pool at 420 gallons per hour. And we need to fill the pool in 16 hours or less. Now, uh, you decide that you can use this hose, but you, you need to get another one to deliver water uh, at the same time. So if we had brought in an additional hose, we added a larger hose uh, that can deliver the water at a faster rate and had put those two together, what rate uh, would it need to get the job done? So basically, this is kind of a good example of uh, the harmonic mean. So, so prior to the previous example of the verification part, we can, we can figure out uh, what is the average ratio do we need? 
and we want to match that with the harmonic mean and then use the harmonic mean um, to kind of figure out what the second hose rate has to be at least. So let's say the total volume is 10,000 gallons and we've only got 16 hours to fill it. Uh, so 10,000 divided by 16. We need a, an average fill rate of 625 gallons per hour. So the first hose is filling at 420. What do we want to figure out for the second hose? So we want to kind of figure out the harmonic mean for these two, right? So we want to kind of figure out, okay, what's the harmonic mean for uh, hose rate one and then hose rate two, right? So if that's blank, it'll give us 420. But I want to figure out what that is. And um, to kind of figure that out, you can kind of play it around the numbers. You can put like a couple numbers in and try to figure out, let's say maybe uh, 600. Uh, that's going to give me 494. That's less than that. Okay, we can go maybe to 700 and it gives me 525 or maybe we can go to uh, uh, 800 and then it gives me 550. Uh, and you can go through, through this a couple of times. But kind of probably the more preferable way to do it, let me go ahead and press delete, is to use uh, the, what if, the what if analysis tools and that's going to be using a uh, go seek. So if I go under data here, uh, go under the what if analysis, I'll bring up go seek. I have a video on go seek and you can just go ahead and um, I'll provide a link at the bottom of the description later on to, to kind of give you inf information on it. What you need to do is just set a couple uh, variables here and it will figure it out for you. So as long as we have this kind of set up, we want to we want to figure it out this way. So I want to set uh, this cell. I want the harmonic mean cell to be a value of this cell, 625, by changing the value in this cell. Once I click OK, Excel is going to go through a couple calculations to try to figure out what the average what the hose rate should be in order to get to that harmonic mean at 625. And so the second hose rate has to be at least uh, 1,220 gallons per hour. I'm going to click OK there. It has to be at least that amount in order to fill this uh, 10,000 gallon pool within 16 hours or less um, using basically the first hose uh, at 420 gallons per hour. So that's another way that we can use the harmonic mean. So basically the harmonic mean is a pretty simple function to use, but to understand how to use it is probably important here. And so when we're dealing, as I mentioned before, if you're dealing with something where, where we have ratios, um, speed is a good example, something uh, kilom kilometers per hour or um, miles per hour, or we're talking about flow rate, gallons per hour, uh, uh, kiloliters per hour, whatever. Um, this is a good example if we want to take an average of those particular list of values to use the harmonic mean. So there's the uh, har mean function uh, used to uh, figure out or calculate the harmonic mean. And there's uh, two examples to kind of give you an idea of when you can use the har mean function. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.